Okay, here we go. What's your favorite exercise to build biceps? My friend, you are in luck, because you are tuning in for the arms and shoulders day. So, a lot of what we're doing today is gonna be trying to build up arms and shoulders. A $5 hook at Home Depot to hold the 60 pound hex bar. Man, I have to put a lot of faith in that hook. I just probably leave it on the floor. Um, Cause I'm gonna, it's very likely I'm just gonna pick it up and do stuff with it anyway, so. Yeah, okay. Potentially not a long workout today, but we're gonna try to get some work done. Oh, I'm gonna try to get warmed up and get to it. Get some curls going and start things up. Hit it. Yeah, I definitely gotta get the get the stud. Yeah. Definitely gotta get the stud. And then you think it'll carry like hundred pounds cool. Yeah, still, I mean. I think I'm okay for now, but something to think about. Yeah, we kinda gotta get after it today. The the thing about it is. Arms and shoulders is often a longer workout. We don't have that much time. And we'll have to be pretty intense with the training if we're gonna to try to get everything done that we want to. But it's also post leg day, so a little tired. <laughs> so, it's an interesting combo, but we can not worry too much about that. We can just get to work and see how it goes. That'll be good. Oh, get the blood flowing. And See if we can get some gains rolling. Just hit it a little harder. A little bit less downtime. We can figure out Jenny if we can go a little longer. If I, you know, end up watching Archer a little longer today, but I want to make sure I get timing with the boy because if he decides to take a nap early, we don't get to play as much. That's a long time following, man. Oh. Thank you, bro. Six whole years. It was awesome. Get that left bicep to work right. Ah. <laughs> leg days are so much more killer than other days. Leg day is very demanding. One of the things that's interesting for me is like, how, like that I thought too is like, how do I harness and create that kind of intensity with uh, all my training, right? How do I do that? <laughs> but yeah, figure it out. I think adding in like heavy compound movements like overhead press is fun. And barbell movements like barbell curls is fun. More barbell stuff, right? 700K jackpot's pretty wild. Good for him, man. I mean, that's risky business, <laughs> gambling with that kind of, those kind of figures, but. Oh. Uh, I mean, you love to hear about the wins, right? Love to hear about the wins. Well, that's, that does sound like risky business. Oh. Oh. But it seems to be, it seems to be working pretty well for him, right? I think he's not like three or four mil overall. Jeez. <clears throat> I don't think. Is that, is that all his personal investment? Because that sounds sketchy, but yeah, but I believe it's sponsored. Okay. Okay, gotcha. I miss it. That's good. <laughs> He's got the sponsors back and then. That's kind of weird though. How does that work? I mean, as long as you're disclosing the uh, relationship, you're just kind of playing with money, like imaginary money. But I guess you are playing with people's money too, right? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Can you come out? Okay. He did. I'll be right back. You're good. A little monkey tins. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. I mean, hey, if it's working for him. If it's working for him. 
No, I, I would be I would be fairly certain they're giving him money to play with, Cloudy. But maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I don't know. But if that would make sense, right? Hey, Archer. Good morning. Let's get this pinky off the floor, huh? You gonna work on a washing machine? Okay. Let's work on that thing. What's up, King? He's using his real money, but Snake pays him a flat one million a month. Oh, okay. Now that's a little scratch to play around with on the on the site, yeah. But hopefully, people will just watch him play instead of gambling themselves. But yeah, there we go. There's definitely some serious moral consideration to uh, engage in if you're doing that, but. You know, not without sort of taking any particular stance. We have definitely turned down every single gambling opportunity that we've received, so... <laughs> but, yeah. Did it get stuck? We can open that up. But, yeah, I mean, that's definitely... You gotta consider the morality of that. The ethics of that. There we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dive into that too heavily, but I'm not a big fan of gambling. I don't really think it's all that great, but you know, it's working for him. Yeah, it's working for him. So, yeah, work on that washing machine. Yep. Ah. Uh. How's it work out? Oh, I'm just getting started. It's gonna probably be, it might be a little bit of a shorter one. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Kelly, we're doing good. Doing good. Wife and I gave up on what journey? What you got? You got the washing. I mean, playing cards with your friends is different than you know, you know, playing gambling games on a website. In my opinion, but that's mean, whatever. Winter buys drinks. I know that's that's. Where are you taking? Oh, yeah, I'll work this part. Where are we taking Yeah. Them? So, yeah, you have to definitely consider the morality of oh, you want to take it over here? taking immense sums of money Hi, Daddy. to uh, yeah. promote gambling. You know what? I don't know. And then make money off people here. doing it, but, you know. I don't know if this is the right spot to be in. I understand. Is this where you want to be? Is this where we're camped out? I think Daddy's going to do some deathlings. No, I'm going to do some uh, bar Barbara bar Curls, but. Oh, okay. That yeah, is the washing machine? Yeah. I mean, I would say, like, if you if you like gambling, just, like, you know, wow. play, like, Path of Exile or something. <laughs> no, I like Path of Exile for the reason of the gambling, but, like, you know, just make a cool build, run around, kill stuff. Ooh, cool drop. Or then you do some crafting, you're like, ah, oh, that wasn't a good craft. But, ooh, this is a good one. You know, if you really like RNG and you like video games, do that. And it's all free. But it's kind of fun to see the progression and whatnot. Or you can play, you know, like be a landlord. That's a fun one too. That's actually a slot thing, but it's not. It's actually more of like a deck building game, but still. Yeah. No, I, I personally, I don't like gambling. No. I am. Uh, I'm much more of just like a slow, steady grind, grind and make, you know, slow, steady progress. That's reliable. Then go for the big gambles. But like we, like we were, we, we kind of played around with, with like the meme stocks, you know? And we were like, this is not for us and we're good. But that, that kind of made us work a little bit faster on getting our investment portfolio going, which has been going good, so. But yeah. Without, without getting too like, you know, high and mighty, go get down on. What? Train for, for doing what he's doing. It's just like oh, no, day, day training can like be amazing. No, that's good. I'm, yeah, I'm, like, we're talking about we're talking about train wrecks specifically. Uh, this gambling. So. Oh, well, I mean, like, I mean, you do what you got the money for, and if that's what you enjoy doing, like. Well, part of the thing is he's being sponsored to promote gambling. Uh huh. And so that's the, that's like the morality issue. Is like. It, well, 
But he can do his thing. I'm just saying that for me, gambling is not really what I like. Yeah, we got And I can understand the morality sort of battle of do you promote a behavior that is harmful for people? You could be a dick dude and that guy. I mean, yeah. And make, and then make money off of their addiction, but. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I get there it. Are, there are ways that it's probably done within the guidelines set, whether or not those are like pretty strict. <laughs> But my, my initial my initial sort of impression is not like this is terrible. He's a terrible person. Yeah, but no. I can definitely see the the morality issue. We've turned down any sort of gambling sponsorships. We've yeah, but received. But that's just because it's not personally interested. In it. I don't feel passionate about that. I don't think it's a fit for our community. So yeah. But yeah, I think I don't. I don't. That's definitely not not something that I'm about. But. I and mean, it's working for him. I mean, he's definitely getting a lot of growth on Twitch and making a lot yeah. of money doing it, so. More power to him. <laughs> Guess so, yeah. Yeah. And if sometimes he wants to transition and, and pivot off that, he can. And he'll take all the growth that he's gotten and take it to the next thing, you know, focus on his podcast yeah, or whatever. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. He was doing, well, has been and probably still is doing really good with his podcast stuff, so. Yeah. That, if anything, it's just kind of... It says, but hey, I'm a 22-year-old college student with, without any responsibilities, but finishing a degree and working at my internship, so gambling is fun. If you're 22, absolutely don't gamble. No, like, don't. No. If you're 22 and working on stuff, don't gamble. <laughs> In my opinion, but you do what you want to do. I would probably be saving up and investing if you want to do it. Like, the, the earlier that you invest, the better, so... If you want to play the imaginary money game, just start saving up. With not not just letting it sit in your bank account, but actually like make investments and stuff. That'd probably be a better plan, I'd, I'd say. Uh, if you're 22, you don't want to be gambling. But is investing not gambling in a sense? There are um, Investing isn't designed for the house to win, basically. Usually. At least in my understanding. But yeah. Like, day trading is gambling, yeah. <laughs> but like, placing like, like, you know, good choices that are more likely to pay off, yeah. Yep. That's fine, Cloudy, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, crypto and day trading are like, just gambling, yeah. Yeah. But I, feel, I see what you're saying, uh, Bottle. But like when I'm talking about investing, I'm not talking about like day trading and like uh, um, crypto. I'm talking about like building a portfolio for like long term. But no, you're right. You're right for sure. Yep. Good, good stuff, Cloudy. Good stuff. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just definitely just talking from from one dude to another, one person to another, just out in the world. No sort of in official investment advice, obviously, right? But I'm not, I'm not coming down on train or anything. But I, I definitely see the sort of moral uh, uh, issues present in that kind of thing. But I mean, if you take if you take all of that out, it's like you're just happy to see somebody succeeding. Like he's he's killing it. Hey, can we move your washing machine back? Oh, yeah. I can see that too. Go. Oh. Let's put it back over here with the vacuum. There you go. Is that nice? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, everything's so funny. Everything's so funny. Yeah. He was kind of wiggling last night. That's what I think the cat, him and the cats were kind of yeah. happy last night. Okay. Mommy does love you. Hey, Trox, how are you? Oh, you almost slipped. Did you almost slip on some oil, like Buster the Bluffs? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we don't push any buttons up there. <laughs>
There's no buttons, the lizard. There don't seem any buttons up there, huh? No, thank you. Yeah. Good job, the lizard. Oh, look that. Yeah, that one's yeah. locked. Oh, oh nice frog. What are you doing, little tins? Spider Man, I don't know if we should go over there. Come on, Spider Man. Come on, Spider Man. No radioactive spider bites. No, I, 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 I do like the idea of investing in like the grind and the slow and steady effort. I like that. Cool. It's different. You can watch a here, huh? Are you gonna help Daddy Chopper? Why do you sometimes tuck your chin towards your chest and sometimes like upwards, stretch your neck with your neck tie? I don't know if there's any particular reason. Oh. Yeah. Got some chalk, boy? Get out of my hand. Just how it is, man. Just moving, just moving your head around. Don't push it. Getting the squeeze. Good job. Can you help me? Eight. Sometimes just where I'm looking. Watch out, little boy. Come on. Little guy. Working on the AC. On the AC, boy. Hi. Unfortunately, I think all the work on the AC upstairs it makes it doesn't make that rattle more. <laughs> well, it's we haven't touched it since it yeah. started, but yeah. Alright, looking cut. Yeah, we've been dieting down for the past three months, so be on the blue and we're I, I am trying to increase my calories just fairly slowly. Let's go hair six with 65 months, man. You okay? You get a <laughs> bit of hair in your eyes. Is that so, heresy? Is that so? <laughs> That's funny. Maybe you should suggest <laughs> practicing. Maybe you should suggest practicing a lot, you know? Yeah. Gotta practice a lot. Sir. Before you guys go for the real thing. Beef and eggs yeah, every morning. What do you think about that, Bash? Tell you what, Gabby's got to do workout. It's your macros, makes so it feel maybe good. Maybe we should go work on another fan. You want to do that? Oh my goodness, Could Katie. Work. All right, Katie. Get up there, little kitten. Do you need some help? I only eat ice cream and candy. Thoughts? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How's it working for you? <laughs> What? <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> He's alright. What about my biceps and eggs? My biceps and eggs are not anything special, but. Mom just put you right off. Oh, it's too hot. My left and right biceps are actually like, this one inserts way lower, doesn't. doesn't I think I right. Like, yeah. Oh no. Definitely. Yeah. Mommy got you, huh? Oh no. Mama, Mama was like trying to help him turn and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Put some little pillows down there. Yeah. Fall off. Yeah, you fall off. Bumps. That is funny. That's good. I was like, no! <laughs> that was a little bit dangerous, huh? Yeah. We're still relatively deep in the mini cut, but I am bumping my calories up slowly over time. Yeah. Quite a little bit. Mommy's gonna help you be a little more careful. Mommy's gonna be more careful making you yeah. be more careful. Thanks for the subbies, the back to backs. Yeah, get a hold of that boy. The back to back three subbies, thanks guys. Gurkash, wait, that's just Gurkash back to back. Takes the 18 months, dude. We're about 195 right now. Is there a keto free workout? Most free workouts don't have carbohydrates in them. When you start asking me questions like that, I feel obligated to, walk, to link you the fat loss video. Come on over here. Do we need to? So I use free workout a lot. Yeah, I use, I use free workout every day. It's just a, I don't really drink coffee in the morning, but, you know, a little bit of pre-workout kind of helps 
I've, I haven't been using like a like big serving as a pre workout though. I've been kind of like spread it out. It's been feeling good. I don't need a big hand. But yeah. They say peak gives it forever flat. How long have you been working out? <laughs> Ever use high stim? I mean, I don't, I don't like free workouts with a ton of caffeine in it. That's what I'm talking about. I don't. Like this one right here, the bodybuilding.com one has like 200 milligrams per scoop. And I'll use like a third of a scoop at a time. And then during my workout, I'll use like a sixth of a scoop. This is part of the intro workout. So that's what I mean, I spread it out. But no, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, 400 milligrams of caffeine straight to the dome. I don't. I don't like that. Personally. I watched your final video we touched on this last night, but should I track carbs and keep on hoping to get grams a day for max weight loss or just focus on cows? Cows. Calories is what matters. Carbohydrates are just a source of energy. They're, they're, carbohydrates are part of your whole thing. Arbitrarily keeping them under 150 grams? Maybe. But you can also lose weight eating 300 grams of carbohydrates, probably. That's what I do, but. It is absolutely about your total carbo total calories, but I would say that getting enough, the right amount of protein and enough fat is kind of like first things first, and carbohydrates you can just use to fill in the rest of your calories. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if like if your body has to like get used to taking 400 milligrams of caffeine, eventually you're probably not going to feel the same. But for me, I just kind of spread it out because I, I don't need pre-workout to make me like feel insane. I just kind of want to wake up a little bit. Is it possible to retain water carbs? That kind of stuff does not matter at all for fat loss. That is like hyper irrelevant. Okay. Yeah, hyper irrelevant. Yeah. Ever get blood test check my T levels? I've, I've only had it checked ever twice, just as part of like a normal checkup. And it's it, it was actually lower post competition in 2018, and then it has come up since then. So yeah, perfectly healthy range. We're good. Oh, they hung. The archer. Ever dry your free now? No. You don't like seeing weight fluctuates even from water weight? We'll get used to it. It just happens. But you should see it coming down over time. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, quirky. Yeah. Yeah, here I see it's got to be a deficit. Yep. What's my fat macro goal? Um, you know, generally, I try not to go too too much below like 50. Right now, it's, I could uh, double check. As, as calories come up, probably around 60. I just don't, I mean, I'm just feeling good eating the way I'm eating right now, and that ends up being around 60 grams of fat. Which is pretty low, but it's fine. What's up, little Tins? Garbage man left. He gotta go get more garbage. Did he give you beep beeps? He did. He said beep beep. Beep beep beep. Beep beep. Yeah. He's got work to do. <laughs> Weight gain scares me. You're paranoid. It used to be 350 and now 170. Probably 570 to come. <laughs> okay. Garbage man left. He's okay, love. Okay. Okay, we'll get you a pinky. Weight fluctuations happen, Kelly. Mike. We'll get your pinky. Can I leave my phone? Yeah. Uh, you. Part of what you might want to think about doing is start gaining some healthy weight and okay. and focusing on training hard and building muscle instead. Yeah, we're garbage, man. All right, little guy. <clears throat> yeah, people say that recoil like it's a. Like people, people say that kind of stuff every day. No, he, his hair looks like mine when I was a little kid. Just a little more blonde. But yeah, he's not 31 years old. He's two. So. He definitely did. <laughs> yeah. He, his hair looks just like mine when I was little. A little curly. Yep. Yeah. 
No, I think it's just, yeah, it's just a kind of a failed joke, right? Yeah. Yeah. All good. All good. All right. Let's pump a little bit of oh, into this thing. I see. I see. I see. We will see. We will see. Yeah, it's just, just a little bit of a common, common kind of troll. But yeah, not quite, huh? Yeah, not quite. Looks just like me when I was a little baby. Oh, but yeah, maybe Jenny's hair color. Yeah. No more blonde. Yeah. But then again, Jenny's hair is also brown. So. Oh. But yeah. I saw what you were going for, just to, you know. Not factually accurate, but it's a joke, right? So. Uh, just kind of like he's got like my eye shape and Jenny's eye color. It's neat how how that works. It's kind of crazy to see it. Yeah. Whoa. Two? Not right now. We're good with one right now. <laughs> the bodybuilding duck. Ha ha, we missed Bajira there. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> it's like, ha ha, I miss you when you were a couple years younger. What does that even, like, what am I supposed to do with that comment? Like, okay. I like, I like the buzz beard combo. I do need to razor shave my head though. Where's the carpet? In the other mansion. The other mansion's garage. No. Yeah, I never really got into coffee too much. I don't like the way it makes me feel either. I don't do many look like this, no. And the bodybuilding.com protein bars are good, and the, uh, I like pink bars. I like, uh, Cliff Builders. Those are all good. Ugh. Those are all good. Here we go. What's up, man, Matt? Yeah, cup builders are good. Here we go, I mean, They do have sugar in them, but... It's, I mean, it's, it's all good. Something to consider. Depending on how that makes you feel. Oh, he does flame, of course. He's a busy guy. Giving people shit about something they have no control over is kind of like a dick move, don't you think? Just for just just during a time where it's a good idea to maybe be a little bit more considerate. Just something to, just something to keep in mind. Because I don't really care, but just something to think about. I don't like the way coffee makes my stomach feel. I don't really particularly enjoy the taste. So that's that's all I mean. Well, no, you should definitely track your, your calories and your macros, Kelamike. It's not one or the other. Like, if you're tracking your macros, you are tracking your calories. But if you're only focusing on carbs and not tracking your protein and fat, you're kind of wasting your time, right? Potentially, so. But I just say, track your calories and all your macros. Like I say in the video, right? Yeah, just tracking your carbs and that's not really how it works, right? What's up, Gwen? There we go. Oh.
million calories when I'm going to realize that I'm feeding I'm consuming until 100 grams of carbs. So what I can turn about 100, 107 grams of carbs is like nothing. So stop fixating on carbs, bro. Carbs are good. They're just an energy source. This, the fixation on carbs is the wrong frame of mind, just to let you know, right? 107 grams of carbs is nothing. My baby eats 107 grams of carbs. Like, you're, you're fine. You gotta put fixating on that. Carbohydrates are literally just a source of fuel. Your body, like did you watch the video? It sounds like you did it. And that four and a half minutes is useful info, and it's like the baseline of where it all starts. If you consume more calories than your body uses, your body begins to store a portion of those calories for energy later in body fat, right? It's not just carbohydrates. Now, if you eat a massive amount of carbohydrates, you may end up being in a surplus, which means your body will store body fat. But if you can be in a surplus from Anything that you eat, right? And it's about the, the total energy, not one macronutrient either. Carbs are great. And if you're if you're spending all of your time worried about gaining weight, you might want to change your focus to like training or something for a little while, right? Another client needs to get their video done today. I'll start a new one for us. Uh, have I, re I haven't reviewed the, the new one yet, have I now? Um, let's see, what do you feel like working on? Oh. You can do the highlight, like the war highlight. Just more new world stuff is probably pretty good. We'll see how that goes. Do some of that one. Yeah. Well, I also disagree with the idea that your body needs carbs, but I think carbs are definitely a useful, uh, useful energy source. You can you can take a look at some of the the highlights that we've got on Twitch, like download the individual highlights from all the wars and kind of make a couple videos out of that. That could be fun. It's from so if you go on Twitch, there'll be highlights of the, of the wars. That could be kind of fun. Do like a battle for new world war, kind of like montage, like part one, part two, whatever else. Mostly, no matter what it is, maybe you need to eat more to reach 150? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know that. You've been watching the stream long enough to know that you've got to eat more Aatrox, yep. That's right. That's right. You know it. I need a surplus for trying to, try to gain. And you say, no matter how much I eat, I don't gain weight. It just means that you never have been eating enough. And you're probably eating about the same amount all the time. So, yeah. Uh, sounds good, Coyla. But yeah, you should be able to download the highlights from the stream. On the video editor page. <sighs> Everything that you eat is energy. Yeah. Yep. 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 Not, and not everything, you know, anything that has calories is energy. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna cut and you're hating it? I've been cutting about three months and I've been loving it. So you might want, maybe you can adjust some stuff. But if you just miss cheese and ice cream, <laughs> fair enough. You gotta get your attitude right then, I guess, huh? No, you're not on keto, no, you're not. You... No. We're, we're, getting, we're getting you going, Kel. You're fine. We're getting you going. Probably that's probably not a big eater after all. Once again, saying that you're not a big eater is just describing what you've been doing in the past, right? doesn't describe that you're doomed to not eat a lot if you don't want to. It's going to change your habits. Because, yeah, the, the way that your weight is now, it has been up till now, is just a reflection of your habits. So if we change your habits, you can change your weight. 
I don't know, man. I, I've been loving my diet. And I'm, I'm increasing my calories, but... I don't want to incorporate any of that, any of that cruddy stuff. Uh, I've been feeling real good. I want to keep it going, but stay relatively lean, but still work my way up in calories, so. I've been misled by a trainer for years. That sucks, yeah. I hear that a lot. We got you, though, bro. But, I mean, you're probably just going to hear me hammering home these basic concepts until it sticks, so. <laughs> What I mean, currently? Oatmeal, fruits, veggies, protein, boom. He's peasy. Alright. Let's pop this little bit here. I guess I could make a little diet update video just. Time is an issue. <laughs> that is the refrain to anything, yeah. Time is an issue, yeah. I was doing Greek yogurt for a little bit, but I haven't, I haven't made that recently. But yeah, that's that's fun. <sighs> Only dairy I've really been eating is the whey protein. Good job, dude. Good job. I haven't really been eating any pasta or rice recently, but whatever sauce you want, you just track the macro in it, right? But they're only like, the only like sort of things that are primarily carbohydrates that I drink, that I have are like the carbohydrate drink during workout, oatmeal, and then the fruit are like the sort of main carbs. Wi Fi? Yeah. I don't really need to go a lot lower than that, though. Should be good now. I mean, I might, I might lose some weight, but I am increasing my calories now. We're still in a small deficit, probably, but I just don't need to get a whole lot lighter. This is no real reason to. So, so the calories are coming up, but well, they're, they're coming up slowly, so I basically have a little bit more time in a deficit, but Let's see how it goes. Copies. and stuff. Favorite fruit? I've been eating like blueberries, strawberries, and watermelon recently. That's good. That's fine, Cloudy. Losing about two pounds a month is fine. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, two pounds a week is fine. So, yeah. Definitely. That rice is good stuff. I just, I don't need it right now, you know? So. The way that I'm using my calories is, is different. The oatmeal has been going good. Two a week is fine. I mean, if you're 255, two a week is fine. One week, at, one pound a week is fine too, Flame. How many calories a day are you eating? And how much do you weigh? I mean, for me, two pounds a week is fine. I'm comfortable there. 
It's been feeling good, but it depends where you are and how you feel. Yeah, if you're losing one pound a week at 2,500, that's probably fine, man. I mean, I lose two pounds a week at, you know, around that same amount, but you might not want to go a whole lot lower than that, right? But I mean, if you feel like you could push it a little bit and you want to, you could, but I feel like you're probably doing fine, man. Because you want the diet to be sustainable. And part of being sustainable is it's not like you're redlining your discipline and your energy and your hunger constantly, right? You have any go-to recipes when I'm on a cut? Do you understand what I'm doing on a deficit? I, I just gotta make sure that we have like the basics established, right? Because I've, I've done a lot of different diets and they all look different, except for they're all rooted in deficit of calories, right? So you can really eat whatever you want. <laughs> Work out's good to somewhere? Yep. It's in the bods, but it's pretty much legs, arms and shoulders, bodybuilding back, heavy pole, uh, chest, and then legs again. Kombucha. Um, thoughts on it, like from what perspective? Thoughts on X is a tremendously open-ended question. What sort of thoughts are you curious about? <laughs> health perspective, digestive health. Um, if, if you like it, go for it. it. It could probably really make some people feel great. It probably doesn't really have much of an impact on some people. I don't really have it as part of my daily intake, but some people like it. I'd say if you're curious about it, give it a try, see if you like it. I feel like it's a take it or leave it kind of thing, though. I don't think it's like essential. But yeah, I think it maybe it'd be worth a try. If some of the active cultures and pH of the whole thing helps you feel good. Yeah, we're gonna be playing New World for sure. I mean, we'll be probably taking our time to 60, but yeah, definitely playing it, yep. Yep. You're probably not going to gain a whole lot of strength on 1,600 calories a day, yeah. Probably not. But then you can, if you've done a big fat loss phase, you can then focus on strength for a while by increasing your calories for a bit, right? Yep. You walk for short periods of work, lots of work? Okay. I would probably make time for exercise outside of work, too. Rather than, like, Maybe getting some exercise if work allows for it. I would carve out a, a time of day that's your time to exercise. Get your walk in during that time and maybe get some, some body weight movements done during that time too. Like push ups, crunches, body weight squats, that kind of stuff. Make that a priority for you. For sure. For sure. Trying to get this thing going today, man. Get the vault? No, yeah. Yeah, you get the loss of architrash? Sure, yeah. Okay, you should be eating more than 1,200 calories. Okay. That is not good. <laughs> Yeah. Like I said, Archer eats more than 1,200 calories a day. You got, you got to eat more than that. You're like carb phobic. You're super scared of gaining weight. Start exercising more and start slowly adding calories to your diet just so you can be a healthier setup here. Yeah, that's a long work day, but you can. You can carve out some and get some exercise, but we gotta, we gotta bump those calories up, man. You're in, you're in a bad, you're, you're in a potential bad spot there. Not eating anything. Yeah. Like, I, like I've been 
the same. My, my suspicion is that you should focus on your training for a while, rather than being super scared of gaining weight all the time, is focus on slowly increasing your calories and training to build muscle and get stronger and improve your fitness, uh, or, or do whatever you want to do that, that makes you better. And this confirms my suspicion that that's the right thing to do right now. Yeah. Yeah. Time to, time to get in the gym and time to bump your calories up. That's, that's a normal thing to do during a, like a dieting phase anyway, right? You, you spend some time dieting and then you spend some time with the slow and steady gains. So it's now time to do that. that it might even be fine to gain a little bit of healthy weight too. Here we go. Oh. But yep, we just don't want you to be in that hyper dieted state where you're scared to gain any weight and you're already eating zero calories, right? Because if you're eating 170 grams of carbs and you're only eating 1200 calories, you're also like not eating any protein or fat. <laughs> so you got like no room for calories, you gotta bump that up. Three hundred days in a row. You're always at the gym. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Got to get some more food in you. Yep. Yep. Schedule helps. Yeah, definitely. Schedule helps. Yep. But yeah, it's time to time to change the perspective a little bit. Let's start focusing on like. Maybe if, if building muscle is fun for you or getting stronger is fun for you, but focus on progressing a visit like a uh, at like a fitness goal rather than just being hyper focused on restriction of calories and not gaining any weight, right? Getting some healthy weight probably good. Yeah. Yeah, your fat macro is probably pretty dang low too. Having chicken breast and salad and egg whites with, with the oats, probably pretty low on fat too. Eating some fat is gonna help you out too. Make you feel better, good for your nerves, good for your hormones. Yep. Oh, it will kill him, like, yep, it will. I saw that, Lance, that's funny. That's funny. You can do it, Cloudy, you got this. I mean, right now, if, if you go a smaller deficit, you can probably keep trying to build some little bit of strength during that, Cloudy. If you got a lot of weight to lose, just go in a small deficit and keep training hard. But I mean, I can respect the desire for a mini cut. I got you. That's felt really good for me, so I'm with you. You gotta get the fat, then you can fill the rest with carbs. Like, like I've said, right? Yep. Yep. Oof. Oof. Uh, it's kind of light little trolley weights, but they get it going. Try to use good form and get them going. You're okay, Kelly Mike, like I said, I mean... I got you, bro. I, I, I see what's going on. I got a pretty clear picture, so we're gonna work on something a little bit different for the next little while. Start trying to slowly increase those calories, focus mostly, you know, continue to focus on your diet for sure, but change your mindset to improving your fitness 
whether it's building muscle or getting stronger or whatever, focus on that for a little while instead of just hyper-focusing on not gaining any weight and eating very, very little, right? Yeah, 600 calories sucks. I would recommend you never go below 2K. It was in the last RBG, it was in an AB, Lance, this is like the last RBG of the day. Ugh. We got you though, Kelly, we got you, bro. And it's for the long haul, dude, so. Ugh. We got you. Ah. Oh. And once again, you're not gonna gain a ton of weight without dramatically changing what you're doing and kind of letting your discipline go. So maintain the discipline, just slowly increase the calories over time. Even if it's like 50, ca 50 calories per week if you want to go that slow. Yeah. You can go real slow if you want. Uh, yeah, I would never like recommend going below 2,000. Like I said, I was losing two pounds a week on like 2,500. So that's about as low as I usually go, 2,500. Have fun, Cloudy. Uh, some shoulder flappies. Ah. Uh. We did the squats yesterday, so now we get to just pump the arms and shoulders today. Feels good, man. But it's not gonna be a long, long workout, so we gotta make sure we keep getting after it. See what's up.
I mean, have, have some of your favorite meals, just factor in your macros, but we gotta bump those macros up a little bit, slowly over time. All right, we'll be getting right back. Come on, pumping. Gotta love the instant cast reflex, dude. I feel you. Keep on pumping. Let's keep on going, y'all. I need some uh, some uh, no bells. Yeah, I got you, Kellen. Uh, we got this, bro. It'll be fun for you to start this next phase. Excited for you. Cause we'll be here. We'll be here. Keep me in the loop. Or how all that's going. Flex coil, as usual. Yep. <laughs> Dumbbells, uh, these are 30 pounds, so they're they're my lighter curl dumbbells. They're like so working sets. They feel good for the squeeze. Squeeze. Ah. Ah. I still can't get over that combo of badges, Cuddly. 
That's insane. And it looks so... Love it, man. Oh! All decked out now? Nice! Good, dude, good. Glad to hear it. Hit both bodies and transformers? Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Nay as well, right? May as well. The buys and tries and shoulders can all use just about as much work as they can take, right? As much work as they can get. So yeah, may as well. Ah. For me, yeah. Uh, my arms are like arms and shoulders are muscle groups that need a lot of work. <sighs> so we're trying to work them. Uh, trying to hit them. I feel like they. They may be showing some signs of life. Maybe. <sighs> no, that's that's as high as the bed is going right now, Kelly. That's as high as, as Twitch has room for right now. Uh, we're looking good. Uh, Oh, looking good. Mm. Oh. some support from the homies in there, I'm sure. Feeling that. Oof. Good job, Kel. Yeah, time to put some muscle on you. We got this. I'm excited for you. That's awesome, though, man. Time to get some gains on that frame. Looking good, though, man. We got this. <laughs> excited for the next phase. <clears throat> Here we go. The next phase of the game is for you. Mm, that is awesome, though. 
But then that's fine, that's been your goal. And you've achieved it. Now we're doing the next phase. Yep, I feel you out. Moms always think you're too skinny. <laughs> Moms always think you're too skinny. But we're, we're gonna put some games on you now. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun phase. Here we go. The next phase. <sighs> oh, shh. Dang, Oreos in the night, you gotta cut that out. <laughs> you gotta cut that out. <laughs> no nighttime Oreos. You gotta cut that out. Cookies are your weakness. Well, recognize that and tighten up. No more cooks. Under any circumstances. <laughs> Dark Gill, thanks for the 73 months, man. Big flex, that's a long time something, dude. Doing good, man. Doing good. On the grind. Yep. On the grind. Doing it. Okay, who's in no five, yo? Yo. much. Easier said than done for you? Well, that's a shitty attitude, don't you think? Not really. Give yourself some credit, man. You are in charge of what you eat. Especially when it comes to little snacks. Easier said than done for you. You're just telling yourself that. You can also tell yourself that you're a fucking machine that does not eat cookies because they are not helpful to you and you've decided that you're not eating them anymore. And then you won't. So, it's up to you. Ugh. Whenever you're ready, just flip the switch. Ah, uh, just not interested in them, man. They're not helpful to your goals. Not on the menu, not part of the plan. Thanks, but no thanks. Don't need them. You know it doesn't help you out. You know it doesn't make you feel the way you want to feel, so don't. You already made the decision ahead of time. So in the moment where you're just sort of faced with that momentary temptation, you just default back to the decision that, that you've already made. 
with a clear mind and you say, nope, it's not something I do. Then we, then we dip cooks. And that's a skill that you can practice. Got the, that's called discipline. <laughs> to the plan, defaulting to the clear mind decision that is in line with your goal, not the in the moment temptation, right? And I will pass. Every moment that you spend on the path is, is big gains. For sure. That's what I'm saying is that in that moment where you're deciding whether to buy them or not, you go with the clear mind decision, right? Say, nope, not part of the plan. I know that making this decision will set me up for success. Like I said, Kelly, you do you, man. Different goals, different uh, different um, methods of getting it done. Oh. People always ask that with these weights. They're 15 pounds, nice and low. I live in the United States, so the convention is pounds here. Yeah. But different goals may have different methodology, so Cutley's plan to get as big and strong as possible may involve some Oreos. <laughs> Someone whose plan involves not eating cookies. <laughs> yeah. Tighten up. Mediocre, yep. Tighten up. Then once again, once you decide cookies are off the menu for you, it doesn't matter if your wife buys cookies or not. They're not for you. You don't need that. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do recommend not eating the entire bag. <laughs> sounds sounds like a fine recommendation. Oh man. Oh yeah. Uh, here we go. What's up, Karahi? What up, what up? Yep. Kill the man. Wanna drink out of some carbohydrates? It's like exclamation mark sub, so I'll link it for you. What's the carbohydrates during the workout? A little bit of EAs, teeny tiny bit of little pre-workout in there. Teeny tiny bit. Yeah, Kelly's been with us pretty much since the beginning. He's an animal. Showing us a lot of love and support over the years, man. The true homie. The beast, huh? Whew. Inspiration to us all. The cutlass. Yep, power on through, Bob. Because you got the right aim, man. Whew. Once you guys, once you guys get in a diet that like works for your goals and feels good, you're not gonna want to eat shit. You know what I mean? But it takes some time to build that habit. But it's worth doing. Because you don't want you don't want food that makes you feel bad. Or knocks you off your plan eventually, you know? But yeah, it's, it's gonna take some time. Like the diet that I've been on feels so good. I, I, I don't want to mess with it. I want to add calories slowly, but I'm doing that real slow. And I can add calories by eating more veggies. Or, or more fruit, you know? It's easy. I don't need to add all this other crazy stuff, right? Maybe have a little more protein, you know? Just start working it in. And that's been feeling great. But you're gonna, you're gonna want to stick to the plan eventually. 
But yeah, you kind of have to change your relationship with food a little bit and change your prioritization with how you decide to make your food decisions, right? Yep. I'm about 195 at 5'11". That, that's having brought my weight down by like 25 pounds. But now we're going up, but slowly. But yeah, pumping. Pumping. Let's do some of those rear delt guys. On the tail end of the mini cut, this pump is bringing the calories up. Slowly, ugh. Ugh. But feeling good on it. Yep. Feeling good. Oh. centimeters. Sounds about right. Yeah, like if I, if I just miss a day of working out, it's kind of weird for sure. If I need the day, to, if I need to take the day off, then that's fine, but no, definitely. I'm training every day, you know? Definitely feel off if you don't go through normal routine. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you might you might enjoy going to YouTube type in uh, Fury PVP. You might enjoy that. Whenever I do incline uh, front exercise, I have trouble breathing because of my chest on the bench. Any recommendations to help prevent this? Like engage your core. Don't just, don't just like let the weight crush you. Engage your core. Flex your abs so you have some room to breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, use that core so that the, so that the, 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 doesn't just crush you. And maybe go a little bit lighter weight too, so that you can actually squeeze your back muscles instead of just like crunching you down, you know? Get those uh, calories tightened up. Tighten up them cows. Uh, Got this. Tighten up them cows. But yeah, when you're the guy in charge and the scandal hits, sometimes you gotta take the hit. 25 kg is the only thing that'll take. Uh, half, you know, 
six months to a year if you do it slow and steady. If you want to go a little more aggressive, you can do it in six for sure. Yep. Just depends on how much you have to lose too, right? Deficit, you already know what you're doing, you're good to go. Just gotta stick to it. What kind of surgery? <sighs> so you said you like you were gaining weight while recovering from surgery, that mean shoulder surgery? Oof. Hopefully that can heal up nicely for you, man. <sighs> Get back in the game. I got little weak baby shoulders, but at least they're you know, healthy, right? That's rough. Wish you the best, man. Uh. Uh. So I don't think I should do it. So, put on 40 pounds, I'm back in the gym because this is like the last past five weeks, and I lost 10 pounds pretty quick. But it seems I've stopped for the past two weeks, tied up my diet quite a bit, and actually it's all hair, can I swear out why? Time, stakes time. If, you're, if you think you're in a deficit, and not seeing fat loss, or weight change, just give it a couple more, just give it a little bit more time. Give it a bit more time. Yep. And once again, if, if, you, if you've if you been training, you may also be regaining some muscle while losing fat, so you should still see your weight changing, but yeah. You could just take time. How many calories are you eating per day? But sometimes that, 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 that first little chunk of weight loss happens. I'm talking to you and free muscular, yeah. Yeah. You got this. Both of you. Oh man. Oh! Feel like me? Probably had a better physique than me. Woo. But yeah, you got this muscular. I, I was talking a freak streak, but yeah. Good stuff. Well, I mean, if you gain 40 pounds, you should probably be able to lose that same amount fairly easily. I, it's, it's likely, it's just. Fat loss isn't always linear. But yeah, I'd be curious to see how many calories you're at, and then sometimes you just gotta give it some time. <sighs> yeah, natural is the way to go, muscular. You'll, you'll get back into it, man. I'm excited for you, dude. <sighs> what were your what were your your stats, height, weight, and stuff? Then did you compete at all? That's fun too. Oh. Zero calorie sodas. Is that what you mean? 
Yeah. Well, I just gotta be clear what you mean, like, like things that are supposed to be like diet, like slim fast, or like diet coke, like. <laughs> What's up, Lively? Haven't counted calories? Okay, we'll start counting calories. Step one. Yeah. Start cat start tracking your calories, freak. Yeah. Yeah. Step one. Start tra start tracking your calories. Have you seen the exclamation mark nutrition video? Watch that. And get to work. Yeah. Like diet coke, I mean it's not great, but it's not, I mean it doesn't really contribute to your calories for the day all that much, right? So. You can probably have that if you want to. Maybe don't drink it like all day long. But yeah, step one freak is to start tracking your intake of calories, man. That way you know what you're doing and you can actually adjust. That's step one. So, so type, type exclamation mark nutrition in the chat and watch that video freak. Uh, it's, it's like a four and a half minute video, just kind of get you started. And then we, we can keep talking about it. But that's, that's step one. That's step one, just watching that video. Understand the basics. Step one, track your intake. So you don't want to bench like this. That puts your shoulders in a super bad position now. No. no. That guy was probably trying to be helpful, but no. I'm 5'11", yeah. Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. Now you, you want to, I mean, even for training chest, you want to have your your triceps activated. So, I mean, like like this, like 45 degree angle or 30 degree angle from your body is fine. Out, out, all the way out here is, is not good, no. That's put your shoulders in a really bad spot. So, no, I wouldn't recommend that one. A little, a little bit of a flare is okay, but 90 degree angle from your body? Nah. That guy was probably trying to be helpful, but it's not good advice. Nope. Nope. Not a good idea. Oh, no problem, so drink plenty more? Yeah. That's fine. Why do that tightness feel in your triceps, not your chest? Oh, let's get rid of those. That's right. So you're pretty new, so your triceps are just weaker than your chest, so they're you're feeling it more. But it's, it's a safer, stronger position to bench from, and eventually be able to use your chest too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice, lively, growing up, young man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, does some big shoulder width. I mean, uh, this entire day, I'm just trying to build shoulders, so. 
You're looking at it. Yep. You're looking at it. Ugh. More triceps than I guess. Well, it's just a stronger position. Like you can use your back muscles to brace. You can use your shoulders to brace, like the back of your shoulders to brace. It's not just triceps. The reason why you might be feeling it, I mean, it does involve your triceps. But if you're really new to lifting, sometimes you feel those lifts in different muscle groups. Yeah, no choice how to build. For some people, for me, for sure, yeah. Shoulders are. I'm working on it though. I'm working on it. Yeah, I find that the bodybuilding style is what I enjoy, and I feel like it has a lot of, a lot of longevity. Like, getting, you know, trying to get strong is definitely valuable, but like, focusing on powerlifting is like, I always just get dinged up doing that. But maybe I'm just not doing it right, but, you know. Definitely, you know, putting that kind of weight on your system all the time is, you know, it's, it's risky. I feel like bodybuilding is not as risky, and it feels good. <laughs> powerlifting doesn't always feel good. <laughs> Bodybuilding usually does. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only getting jacked as easy as getting fat. Be master to do it. It's not that hard. It just takes time. How much protein do I consume each day? Probably around 200 grams. Bump that protein up a little bit. 180. Around 200. Well, it'll go up to 200. Probably around 180 right now, actually. Yeah. Do love me some bodybuilding. I've been enjoying one thing for a while, but I haven't really been competing in bodybuilding until fairly recently. Greek amount of hydrates, good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Definitely. I mean, if you've been able to lose the weight, likely, then, I mean, you're already halfway there with learning how to structure your diet. What am I eating to hit 200 each day? I mean, you can hit anything and eat 200, that's not very much, but, I mean, I get protein from everything that I eat, but like, there, there is a little bit of protein in oatmeal, there's protein in the protein bars I eat, there's protein in the protein supplements I drink, there's a the little tiny bit of protein in the veggies I eat, tiny little bit of protein in the fruit that I do eat, and then a good amount of protein from this plant-based protein thing that I eat called corn, Q-U-O-R-N. It's good stuff. But 200 grams of protein it really ain't much. But yep. That's where I'm at right now. You need to get a food scale and get the app. Yep, my fitness pal is free though, so. And food scales are not very expensive, but it makes a big difference. Have a good corn, just uh, like Jenny just skizzles it up. A little pan, just skizzles it up. Your body will make use of whatever amount of protein you eat, basically. The, the only being able to absorb so much is not really a thing. But eating every two to three hours to sort of optimize muscle protein synthesis spikes is fine if you want to do that, but your body will, will make use of whatever you eat. Yeah, does it be a time matter at all? Not really. Some people like to eat really often, some people like to do sort of periods of fasting. It doesn't really matter that much, so whatever you prefer. I think that eating pretty close to after a workout feels pretty good. Yep. I mean, like, I definitely have a meal. Depending on how much room I have in my calories, I can have a protein shake right after eat, uh, training, but also eat. I'd rather eat a meal than just do a protein shake. That's what I've seen is that corn is banned in Canada, but there's a lot of things that are banned in Canada, right? It's kind of funny. Yeah. It's kind of funny. It's because like Canada has like super strict rules of like like inspections have to be done or something like that, right? Interesting. All right, it's gonna be a short workout. Let's get a couple more sets in, then we gotta get out of here, I guess. Kind of a bummer. It's such a short day, but gotta make sure Jenny has uh, time to do her thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to switch their labeling and stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Gotcha. Like they can't call they can't call corn like a meat alternative. If it doesn't have like the same macronutrient po profile of meat or something. All good. I don't really care. It's good stuff. I like it. There we go. She's about to do a master gardening class now. I don't use the premium version, no. No. I'm good. Yeah, we've been eating a ton of like fresh veggies from our garden and stuff. Haven't seen her in years? Well, you gotta tune in a little more often, Lively. <laughs> Follow her on Twitter. Say what's up yourself. Haven't tuned in for years either. Oh, you've been here every now and then though. Yep. All good, man. We're only live all day, it's not a big deal. Not cheat days, no. You're good, you're good. Interior and exterior, yep. She's killing it, huh? She's killing it. Putting the work is good. Yep. What's my calorie take for the day? Around 2800 to 3K now. Turning winter's best? No, turning winter time sucks. Summer is the best. Spring and summer are the best. Summer is the absolute best. Winter time sucks. That's exciting, live. I didn't know they had a little one. That's awesome. I feel you, though, man. I feel you. We, we stream about 12 hours a day, too, so I'm with you. Well, no, no, it's, now it's 10 hours a day. 10 hours a day. Yeah. Outterior. <laughs> I like that too. That's wild, man. Your macro breakdown is just gonna be, just gonna end up being what it is. So how much, how much do you weigh, Cal? 170, you said? So try to get 170 or like maybe even 150 grams of protein in per day. Try to get 60 grams of fat per day and then fill in the rest with carbohydrates. Damn, you've been a police officer since you were 21 years old? That's crazy. That's crazy. Is being a police officer, and you're in the UK, right? Different than the United States, I wonder. Stay safe, bro. Stay safe. Oh. Okay, shot at good. Good. Ronnie Coleman's not from the UK, no, he's from Texas. <laughs> Yeah. It's in the video, Caleb, I'll tell you again. 150 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat at least, and then fill in the rest of your calories with carbohydrates. It's a, but that information is also in the, in the nutrition video. That's a fine place to start. I cut it, I've been dieting, yeah. We're, uh, we're easing up the calories up now, but I've been dieting. Yeah, just a little mini cut. Yep. 
tightening up a little bit. Yep. About three months, lost about 25 pounds, feeling good. Woo! Doing good. You don't like USA gun laws? Neither do I. It's, it's insane. It's actually insane. And enough of the leadership just doesn't care at all. <laughs> they just don't care at all. They don't care if everybody gets sick. They don't care if everybody gets shot. They don't, they just, they're, they're evil. They're evil fucks. But let's not get into that too much. But yes, it's actually insane. It's actually insane. But you gotta keep trying to do the good thing because the other half is trying to do the good stuff and it's, it's wild, it's wild. The U.S. is a good place to live. I, I'm very grateful to be here, but, you know, the battle of good and evil has always been there and it always will be. And it's just, as you grow up, you sort of become a little bit more aware of it. And it's glaring obviousness and how, how bad of an impact it can have over time. But anyway, uh, it is 9.30. We gotta wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing love. It's kind of a short workout today, but I want to make sure Jenny gets some time to do her thing. So let's wrap it up here, and we'll be back for the games in about four hours. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate the love. See you guys then. Peace.